Okay, y'all, let's talk today about choosing a dolly to use to hook your set. Yeah, I know we've done some pre-trip tips in the past, and I've talked a little bit about dollies, but I don't think I've talked specifically about what to look for when you hook these things up. Before you even get it on the back of your tractor, there's some things you might want to look at. Now, there's different ways you can do this. Everybody's different. They have a different order in how they like to, to check things out. Now, I have a certain order that I do it in because I do it in the order of the things I think are going to be needed the most. So when I first pull up to the dolly before I even back under it or to it, I check the tires. Because if you don't have good tires, you're either going to have to go to the shop or you're going to have to not use that dolly, right? So I look and make sure the, doll, the tires are good. You want to look in between at the sidewalls, all the sidewalls, inside, out. You could take the time to check the air pressure in each tire, but when you got one like this, it makes it a little more difficult. So what you can do is kick them, and if they seem even, they're probably okay. But once you hook up, they run air and electrical to the dolly. There should be a, there's a light on the dolly usually, at least on this one there is. And if one of the air tires is not aired up properly, that light should be on. Sometimes it goes out because there's just a slow leak somewhere and you're probably okay. But that's the first thing you check is tires, treads, sidewalls, lug nuts, bump them, make sure they're even. The next thing I look at is Airlines, airlines and electrical lines. Run my hand up the, the whole hose, make sure there's no cuts in it because I've pulled up to them and they've been cut completely off and nobody wrote it up. So that ain't gonna do you any good. If you got cut airlines anywhere, check your electrical cord. Make sure that it's not cut because I've had some of those that are cut. That's a little bit easier fix. You can go get a light cord and run it between the two trailers and not have necessarily have to go through the dolly but it eventually have to be rode up and looked at now i checked the fifth wheel some of them are bolted and welded some of them are just welded i think you check there check all the connections make sure they're good you can see down in there brake chambers make sure they're not hanging off i've had some not on the dolly i don't think but on a trailer for sure where the bracket is just broke off and the wheels broke or whatever and you just take overall look at all the electrical lines air hoses some of them have spare tires on the back when this one doesn't check your safety chains make sure they're long enough sometimes i've had a few that are too long and have had some that are too short make sure the hooks have the the, the keeper on there so once you hook it to the back of the trailer bar it'll stay so that's basically what you look at I mean there's you look at the whole thing overall the best you can make sure it's good fifth wheels got grease you got to make sure of that make sure you got mud flaps all obvious things but you want to make sure every one of these things is checked before you hook it because if you hook it on the back of your tractor and you take it over to your set and back that thing under once you hook up you find you got problems and then you just wasted a lot of time so you gotta go either find another dolly or go get this one fixed. So that's what you do when you're looking for a dolly. That's what I do. This is not a how-to, not a tutorial. Again, this is how I do it. So thanks for watching this. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. I appreciate that. Hit the subscribe logo if you have not already. If you have, I appreciate it. We'll see you later.